This is the Chinese Guqing Zither, a music app for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Today we're going to look at version 1.3, the latest release. Here's an image of a real Chinese Guqing. It's about 4 feet long, 9 inches wide. It has 7 strings and 13 harmonic studs that tell you where you can trigger harmonic overtones. It's a fretless zither, so it doesn't have any bridges like the ones you would find on a Japanese koto, a Chinese guzheng, or a Korean gayagum. So the pitch of each string is controlled by sliding your finger across the string, much like on a cello or a fretless bass guitar. Therefore making it extremely expressive, yet very difficult to master. It has a history of over 3,000 years. Only scholars and noblemen of ancient China played it, as it was one of the four required arts in their education. Today it remains a rare instrument, with only about 200 professional players around the world. So now let's look at the app. Obviously, the full soundboard cannot fit on the iPad or the iPhone screen. So on the iPad, you can scroll to different sections of the soundboard by tapping one of these buttons down here. On the iPhone, you would use two finger swipes over a string to scroll to different sections, or three finger swipes to go all the way to the beginning or the end of the soundboard. As you can see, the strings are ordered from top to bottom, with the lowest string on the top. It is tuned in a pentatonic scale. The standard tuning is an F major pentatonic scale. As on the real instrument, plucking requires your finger to swipe from one side to the other side of the string over the plucking or strumming area on the right border of the screen. So doing tremolos is extremely easy. The closer you are to the edge, the weaker the pluck or the sound. Your left hand controls the pitch of each string by sliding from left to right, from here to here. You can also do hammer-ons and pull-offs. To mute a string, simply hold down over a plucking area. To trigger harmonic overtones, align your finger with one of the 13 harmonic studs called the Hui in Chinese. The red line will show you that you're aligned. And then release both hands at roughly the same time. On the iPad, thanks to ample screen space, there are harmonic shortcut buttons located above the 13 huis. Just hold down and now you can strum your harmonic overtones. So here is an example of how this instrument is played on the iPad, combining all the skills we just went over.
And now let's look at the setup page on the iPad. Tap on the info icon down here on the bottom right corner. On the iPhone, do a four finger up or down swipe on the screen. So here is the resource button. Tapping here will show you the offline guide, but I recommend checking out the online guide by tapping here. It's a website with uh, more info, videos, tutorials, so check that out. And this is the offline guide. You can share this app with your friends via email or Facebook. And please do tell your friends about this app. The next button is to turn on and off the background music while you're in the setup page. So something very relaxing that I played on this instrument. Okay, the next part is to select the tuning of your instrument. Tapping here will show you a list of 22 tuning patterns that you can try out. Next, scroll through a list of uh, 10 instruments. So you can use the guitar, Gu Zheng, Gu Qing, Gu Qing Reverb, Harmonic of the Gu Qing, Harmonic of the Guitar, Koto Shamisen, Turkish Oud Lute, and Turkish Saz Lute. You can also choose any of those instruments for your harmonic sound sets. You can adjust the volume of each side using these sliders. The harmonic sensitive, uh, sensitivity slider lets you set how much time you have to trigger harmonic overtones. The default is 0 0.05 seconds. So you must do harmonic within that time. Next, we can show, we can show or hide uh, the notation by tapping this right here. It's gone now. Right here show fret lines, chromatic fret lines. Uh, so this help you get used to the instrument, especially for guitar players. We can also turn on the harmonic guide and easily perform harmonic uh, overtones just by following the, the lines. Okay. And from this version on, we can also use a lefty and right mode, uh, left-handed and right-handed mode. So I'll just switch the ordering of the strings. Tap on that. Now it starts from the bottom, or this way. Okay. You can also choose what kind of sound marks you want: guitar dots, harmonic spots, or none. Guitar dots up here, harmonic spots are none. Okay, you can select a style of your soundboard by tapping one of these here. So you can see the color is changing and the style is changing a bit. Okay, and finally, you can turn on the background music. So the first one was recorded in the Hakone, Japan. It's a small waterfall at night. It's very peaceful. And the second one is a Native American flute solo performed by Carrie Lake. And by tapping this, it will set up the tuning of the guqin to match the tuning of the flute. So now you can see it's an A sharp now.
those uh, background music help you relax. Uh, this instrument is uh, for meditation and for uh, discovering uh, music. Uh, heavily using uh, harmonic overtones and uh, sliding of the pitches to add complexity and expressiveness uh, to your music. So I hope uh, you enjoy this app. This concludes our look at the Chinese Guqing Zither. Again, it's for the iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad. You can check it out at uh, www.wkode.com www.code.com So please tell your musically inclined friends about this unique Chinese heritage. Thanks for watching. Please rate, leave comments, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.